Hello everyone, welcome to day 28 of the foundation challenge. So I'm very excited about today. I'm making something called sweet Korean um, lentils. It sounds fabulous and I'm going to eat it. One dish is going to be warm and one dish is going to be cold to see whether it's better warm or cold. The only problem with this is that I don't have any red lentils. You're supposed to cook the red lentils in your sauce and I actually don't have any in the closet, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm just gonna use a can of um, cooked already cooked lentils. So in order to do that, I'm going to um, make half the amount of sauce and then put a little bit of potato starch in it to thicken it. Um, and I think that will work out just fine for the sauce because I don't really have much other option to be honest with you. I think that'll be okay. So this is from a recipe, a website called it doesn't taste like chicken.com, which I've used, I've made multiple recipes from her website before and they've always been good. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one. I think it'll be good as well. Um, need some real basic ingredients to go on the stove to cook your sauce and then after that you just um, cook your lentils with your onion it's not it's not super hard at all do go take a look at her recipe so you can follow it the way that it's supposed to be followed um, the, I'm just kind of making do with what I have you know that's how that works so you can come down and see what it is that I've got going here let me move some stuff around for just a second so I've got a pot that's already dirty because I cooked some pasta in it so there is my pot and I'm going to put in, again, remember I'm doing half of a recipe here. So there's one cup of water. I need a tablespoon here. So I'm doing one tablespoon of potato starch, which we found potato starch at um, our Asian grocery store in like this big funky bag thing, but it'll work. It'll be good enough. Um, and it calls for two to three tablespoons of brown sugar. So I'm just going to do one heaping tablespoon of brown sugar. I think that that will be just fine. So there we go. One tablespoon brown sugar. Um, sticky, always sticky. And then two cloves of garlic. So one clove of garlic. Oh, geez. Um, I'm just going to dump some garlic in there. You guys know I like garlic, so I think that will be just fine. A piece of ginger, which I did not think to get out. I need to do a little splash of ginger. Let me get the ginger real quick. I'll be right back. So this is ginger I'm going to use. I'm actually just going to put like an eighth of a teaspoon in there because I don't think it needs any more than that. So ginger, teeny tiny little bit of ginger. Um, it calls for, let's see, a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm going to use again, half of that. So I'm going to use the two tablespoons. There's that. I'm supposed to put some sesame oil in here. I'm not going to do that. And crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going to use this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's a good thing we have another one of these, huh? I didn't get any of it out, but I got some of the liquid in. Well, that's not very exciting, is it? Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of this uh, garlic chili pepper sauce. I didn't realize that I had taken the lid off. Oh, man. Got myself dirty. I'm wearing my work shirt too, man. I have to go get changed. Bummer, dude. Well, anyways, that's the sauce. And I'm going to whisk this together and cook, warm it up on the stove. And then the only other thing that I need to do actually is to cook an, half of an onion and put my lentils with it. And then that's going to be it. So I'll go do that part and then I'll come back and we'll chat about the rest of this after I go scrub my shirt off and uh, get rid of the chili garlic sauce and put a new one in the fridge. Duh. Alrighty guys, so it is ready. It smells fabulous. I have no idea what it tastes like because it's extremely hot. I've been blowing on it for a little bit. You should take a look at this. This looks really, really good. See that? It's kind of like baked beans-ish. Um, very, very thick. So basically what I did is I put the sauce in there with the one tablespoon of the potato starch and then I put the onions in and then after a little while, after I've been cooking for a little bit, I put the lentils in and every once in a while I start it really well um, so it wouldn't get stuck to the bottom of the pan or anything like that. That's good. I don't think I need the spicy. <laughs> that itty bitty tiny little one eighth of a teaspoon. I don't probably need that, but I could definitely tell a teeny tiny little bit that is there. Somebody else would need more flavor than that for sure. If they were going for the spiciness. I'm gonna have to go spray my shirt. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go spray my shirt before that sets in. Anyways, this is really good. I really do like this. I'm going to have this on top of some Brussels sprouts and pasta. So there's 
I measured the one cup of pasta and put it on the plate. There's no way that's a cup of, um, I need two cups actually, a cup of Brussels sprouts, but um, I couldn't fit it on the plate. I should have used a bigger plate. I don't know what I was thinking. And then my other plate is after this is cooled down a little bit, I'm having some salad with a little bit of pasta and some tomatoes. I'm going to put my um, lentils right on top of there. And that's gonna be my other meal for the night. I'm really excited. This is gonna be really good. So A is lentil, B is pasta, C is either Brussels sprouts for one meal or tomatoes and lettuce for the other meal. So this is gonna be fabulous, guys. I'm very excited about this. So I will let you know in the morning how this turned out, whether it was better with something cold or better with something warm or if it was just wonderful either way. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for now. And I will see you guys and talk to you guys again in the morning for some exercise. Hey everybody. So let's talk about sweet Korean lentils. So definitely, definitely make those. Um, way better cold than warm, which is kind of odd. They were good warm, um, but really, really good with cold tomatoes. I know that sounds really strange, but the lettuce was fine and the noodles were fine with the um, lentils, but with the tomatoes, it just was fantastic. Like it was such a good combination. Totally make that, serve it cold with some chunked up tomatoes. Really good. So we are doing, I think I said tendon strength today. Um, let me show you what it is exercise wise that we're working on today. So we are doing leg raises and knee in and stretch. So this is actually one of the exercises that's three, four, five. So in order to do level three, you will do five repetitions or five sets of these. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I will come back and chat with you guys in a little while and let you know, I think this one will be okay. Other than maybe getting a little bit tired, but I think it'll be just fine. So we'll see you guys in a little bit after we are done exercising. <sighs> Okay guys, so we are done. We did level three with five sets. Um, you gotta make sure your toes are pointed in the right position and that you are keeping your uh, legs where they need to be in terms of evenness. Because to be honest with you, when you're laying on your side and you, um, what is that called, a leg raise? When you're doing a leg raise and you actually do it like higher than you're supposed to, it's actually easier. Because when you're doing it right to the level where you're supposed to, you actually end up doing it quicker because you're not raising your leg quite as far. Um, it seems like it's more of a workout that way. I know it sounds kind of strange. I would think that if you were moving your leg more, it would be more of a workout, but I don't think that's the case. Anyways, so we're done. Um, and I'm definitely hot. And I will see you guys again tonight for another day.